Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So this week, well, earlier this week, we had the long-awaited return of The Flash from their break, which came along with the highly anticipated episode of Godspeed. That, of course, being the episode in which we had the live-action debut of Godspeed, a speedster who was only recently introduced into the comics. Now, for those that want a sort of, you know, quick timeline of when he was introduced, he was only brought into the comics between seasons two and three of The Flash, so not long ago at all. Now, before the episode aired, there was a lot of speculation as to whether the character was going to live up to the hype or whether he would disappoint. And really, I think it came down to what you were expecting. I think most of the people that had read the comics the character is in weren't too surprised with how he was done on the show. But seeing that the majority of viewers, uh, you know, aren't comic readers, which is fine, that led to, from what I could see at least, the majority of viewers feeling a bit let down about how the character of Godspeed ended up being portrayed on the show. Not the episode itself, just the character. And you know what? I can understand that. He looks cool, so you would expect a bit more from him. But in the episode, we see that Godspeed is essentially Nora's real first test. You could stretch it and say that Godspeed was sort of like Nora's reverse flash. In parts, yes, but overall, I'd say no. But he still did have a fairly big role in Nora and her story. He wasn't just the one who really unlocked her speed, if you want to call it, by frying the chip that her mother Iris embedded within her at a young age. But he also gave her that, you know, determination and motive to get justice after he murdered her best friend Leah right in front of her in a pretty brutal way. Godspeed was also the reason that she went to reverse Flash, really, and going back to him after uh, that as well to get tips and tricks on how to handle certain things and even getting motivation spoken to her while taking on Godspeed later on in the episode. So if you really look at it that way, he did have a decent impact on the show, but I can see why people wanted more from him and of him, and there is still a chance that that could happen. So at the end of the Nora flashbacks, or towards the end of them at least, we see Nora take on Godspeed and nerf his powers by using the radio waves from the satellites on the CC Media building, which, you know, cancelled out the V9 formula that he was using. Now, just to add this in, I saw people complaining that they turned Godspeed into a V9 junkie and that they weren't comic accurate with his origin, but I really don't think that matters at all with this character. If anything, it lines up saying that Godspeed is essentially a wannabe version of Zoom from the TV show anyway, so the writers just made him even more similar with this change. But yeah, he is defeated by Nora, and then we hear Nora tell Eobard that August Hart, the identity under the mask of Godspeed, just like the comics, is in the custody of CCPD. And once again, I did see people wondering why he wasn't in Iron Heights, and I'm sure he would be on his way there. You just don't go straight to prison when you commit a crime. There is a process. I mean, he killed Leah. The CCPD knows that, so don't worry. I'm sure he will be going to Iron Heights soon. But after this takedown of Godspeed, and for most people, a stay that was way too short on the show, people have been wondering if Godspeed will come back, and how. And while there hasn't been any form of confirmation from people on the show or anything like that, there was something said earlier in the episode by Reverse Flash that could connect to, Rever uh, to Godspeed sorry, coming back. And coming back more powerful than what we saw in episode 18 earlier this week. But of course, throughout the video, guys, let me know your opinions. I know this is going to be a one where people are going to have differing opinions. So let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you have to say. And I guess if you're going to enjoy it, would be awesome if you could drop a like on it as well. So yeah, as I've said, Godspeed was taking V9 and that's how he got his speed. Most similar to trajectory in the past on the show. But Godspeed was looking to perfect V9 in order to make his speed permanent. But the radio waves on the CCC media building were able to neutralize and break down the V9 properties in Godspeed's body, essentially rendering him useless, I guess, soon after. But as I said, he was taken into custody by CCPD and will soon be on his way to Iron Heights, where Reverse Flash is. Which brings us to how August Hart could become Godspeed again and set himself up for a return. So when Nora first went to meet Eobard at Iron Heights, he told her not to be scared. He didn't have his powers. The cell that he was in could contain the powers of 1,000 metahumans or something like that. And if there was any sign of a breakout or an attempted breakout, his cell would be filled with 400,000 kilojoules of energy, most likely through lightning like we saw that guard dealing out to him in the episode. Once, you know, with a side note, it's interesting that the lightning that was hitting Eobard was red, you know, just like his lightning anyway. 
So what if, due to August being a speedster previously and maybe them not, you know, straight up 100% knowing that he was completely getting his speed from an artificial source in the form of V9, and maybe they just thought he was using it to increase his speed, say, like Zoom, and while he might have had the majority of the V90 system neutralized by the radio waves from the satellites, there still would be little amounts, even super small, they would still be in his system, they'd still be there. They just wouldn't be enough to, you know, do what he was doing before. So when going to Iron Heights to serve the time for the crime, he could be put in a similar, like, containment cell, like, speeds to containment cell to the style that Eobard Thorne has. Where if there's any weird attempts to get out or anything like that, his cell is lit up with high amounts of energy to contain him. Now, in some way, shape, or form, let's just say that Reverse Flash is maybe let out by Nora in a future episode, or Reverse Flash gets out through his own means. What if August's uh, cell is also triggered, or maybe Reverse Flash sets it off for the meme, or maybe for a more, like a more nefarious reason, which would hit August with all that energy. Now, just for a reference point, as I said, Eobard said that the cell would be lit up with 400,000 kilojoules of energy when triggered, and when Leah said that Nora was hit by around 5 billion joules of energy from Godspeed, lightning throw that's around 5 million kilojoules yes i am the mathematics master so while the energy released in the cells is considerably less than what nora was hit with we know that that wasn't what gave her speed it was just what fried the you know the chip that was dampening her powers so it could be seen as highly likely that the energy dispersed in the cells when triggered could possibly bond with the little remaining v9 in august heart system and give him metahuman powers and make him a legitimate speed star and an even more lethal one than normal so they could basically make him like he is in the comics where he can he has like the, the base speeds to powers that most people have but then he can not only steal speed but also do the cloning thing from the comics which i think would be a pretty lethal thing to have on screen as a villain now in regards to when this could possibly happen you would have to think they would tease and set this up if they do have any plans for the character in the future in maybe the second last episode or the finale for this season, just depending on how things play out at the end of this season. If there is nothing in regards to Godspeed or August Heart later on this season, I would find it really, really hard to believe that he would be showing up at any point in the future of the show. That is, of course, just my opinion though, and most of you think I can't even speak English, so don't bother listening to me. But if we are, just for the sake of it, under the assumption that Godspeed is set up again at the end of the season by being, you know, quote unquote, reborn, essentially, by being given proper speedster powers, how should or would he be reintroduced in the show, let's say, next season in season six? And while I understand why people were disappointed with the short appearance of Godspeed, I don't agree at all with people saying he should be a full season villain. However, I could see him being a first half villain, similar to like a Dr. Alchemy, but for a bit longer, and then that leads into the big bad for the season, who could be introduced around halfway through the season. Next season, it is important to remember that we do have the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover that should fall around episode 8 or 9, which could mean massive changes afterwards, which would be the, maybe the source for the big bad in the second half of the season. So just keep that in mind. But the biggest issue with Godspeed is the fact that he is in the future, in 2049. So for him to be relevant next season, he is going to have to travel back to present day, which won't be too mean of a feat if he is a speed star, but why would he feel the need to come back to 2019? Like, why would he, you know, do all of that outside of like a little vacation? Well, there is one thing that Leah said when talking to Nora about speedsters in the last episode, and that's that they aren't a thing in 2049. And that's why the idea of a speedster committing these crimes and stealing the chemicals just seems so weird. So if Godspeed is hell-bent on being the god of speed and in turn maybe eliminating the competition, he would need to get to the period in time where that competition is in its prime. And that's the present day, 2019. The biggest issue with this is, well, the lack of speedsters we have currently showing up on the show. Like the only speedster I think they could get to appear based on the actor's schedule would be Jay Garrick. But I'm sure there would be some way, even if it's not the preferred way, that the writers do kill off speedsters without necessarily having the actors on screen. Like they could do the thing where Barry just finds the disposed speedster suits, maybe covered in some weird substance, substance you know, that shows that Godspeed has killed them and taken their speed or something along those lines. Not saying it's a Thanos dusting situation or anything like that, but just something that shows they've been absorbed and killed in that way. Um, something like that. 
that's all you would probably need. But yeah, as I was saying, I would only have him in the show for the opening half before leading into Crisis and then maybe having another villain in the back half. The suit is a major pro in regards to the possibility of Godspeed returning as it is a very nice suit and... Well, it's just too nice to waste on a one episode villain. It just looks a bit too expensive as well. And I did see on Twitter that if you put Godspeed screen time in total for the episode, it was like around two and a half minutes or two minutes and 45 seconds or something in a 45 minute episode. That's actually crazy seeing the episode was named after him. So whether they plan to use him more past this episode before filming it or not, I'm sure the outcry from viewers about either his lack of screen time or just wanting to see more of him will probably hit the writers and people that matter in regards to decision making on the show fairly soon i just hope if he does come back change his lightning up i don't think white lightning was the best look but here's a fun fact leah had like i think double the screen time of godspeed so that's pretty crazy but thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it show support let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on this video do you agree with what i said what do you think the likelihood of godspeed coming back is if so how would you like him to come back what would you you know would you like him back as a full season villain i disagree with that but if you want that then let me know in the comments and um, yeah, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.